what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing great today is the part two of the honda's epic build and we are going to replace the fuel pump and chase car because lately i've been smelling a lot of gas and it's not really good and right here we have the whole fuel pump is assembly now before we we place this on the Tesla we lay behind the curve box that we have to we move and we also have to um disconnect the battery as well plus there's a 10 mini mini bolt right there you have to move which i all what it did because it's really simple so all it's required as soon as you um pull this away a little bit you stay it there okay guys i was having a little bit trouble with the relay so i'm just gonna let it be i'm not going to force it to come out so what i'm gonna do is um we move that fuse right there, 15A, fuse 17. And everything will be here, let you know. And then I will um, start take off for about 30 seconds. Then I'll disconnect the battery. All right, let's start the car up real quick. So what happened is because I um unplugged the fuse, the car won't start. But it's good that I crank the engine. So that that mean um. The engine will suck all the fuel on the line, so we don't have it spill everywhere. And then the next thing I'll do is disconnect the battery, and then we move the gas cap. And as you can see here, wow, this is very dangerous. There's this, this is all gas everywhere here ah uh, this isn't good so now the next thing we have to do is we move these there's four um philip screws that we have to remove and then we'll get to the um pump now before i do this i'm going to stop recording real quick um to clean all this right here all right guys before we continue with the project this is all that came in the box it's pretty much the whole thing it's in here so all i have to, to, to do is we move it and then replace it and we'll be good to go Now, once you get to here, what you have to do is um, disconnect um, the wire 
right there and the fuel line is right here you have these two disconnect connect it as well and then we'll remove the whole thing all right guys just like that i disconnect the wire lines now all i have to do is this one like this this is when you gonna have to maybe wear a face shield or goggles or something just in case um this don't get any your face and you're gonna have to use a towel as well just in case and what you gonna do is just squeeze this um so you can remove the fuel line now this is pen here for ever so it might be hard to come up there we go we got it out just just like that and as you can see here we have no fuel pumping so yeah we're good now the next thing we have to do is um we move this now this can be really hard to turn so i'm going to try my best and yes i have goggles and and nine if I mask in my face because I don't want to smell the gas uh, for that long so it's good to have something to protect your face your eyes and your lungs all right guys let's keep it moving now what I going to do is kind of clean here so all those junk don't get inside the tank let's do this first and then we'll we move the pump all right all right guys what you're looking at is the old your pump then no one didn't come with this part right here and i think i have to take that one off and i'm afraid i may have to get a new one in no one because I, I i guess this one is still good i don't know but i still can't tell where the leak was coming from so i'm not sure if it's this thing right here so let's see okay guys this is a new pump so let's just put this thing to header so we can and start it this goes in here and this is your casket it's gonna go right up here maybe there's a better way to do this but i think put it here, right here it's perfect and this is our new ring right there
all right guys just like that it's in it's just take your time be very patient because with the casket is going to feel like it won't go in but it will but make sure you hold it because if you don't it is it's kind of pop right up so now i can get my ring and to screw this back on all right guys just like that i installed um the no pump so now all i have to do is plug this um fuel line back like i just did and i will um uh, plug the wires back and then i will put the, the fuse back on and then i'll try to start a car and that would be it and i guess we're good all right okay guys just like that we all said this is how you um um change the fuel pump on the 2001 2003 honda no 2001 2005 honda heavy this was just project two and then next thing we put when to do is the valve cover casket and we going to change the spark plugs as well and also the oil pink casket as well and then we'll move on from pumper to wheels and hood and all that the wheels i oh, already have them i show you guys in the last video they were calm so the, what i'm going to to do is um part of put them black so i can have um black wheels on the side now i don't know if i want to paint the car after the whole thing is done or if i just want to wrap it we'll see all right guys if you are new to the channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one